Hi, I am Pastor Rich Warnicke from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, and welcome to our Friday devotion. What's the most comforting doctrine that you find comfort in, in God's word? Is it the fact that Jesus gave up his life, his throne in heaven to come down into this world to live a perfect life and die in our place to pay for our sins? Is it the fact that because of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we now have forgiveness? That because of Jesus' resurrection, we don't have to be afraid of death because we will live with our Lord forever in heaven? Is it the fact that when God makes a promise, he keeps it, and that God continues to cause all things to work out for the good of his children? Oh, there are so many comforting teachings, but I believe the most comforting teaching that I find tremendous comfort in, and I hope you do too, is what the Apostle Paul writes about in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, reading verses 13 and 14. Here he talks about the doctrine of election or predestination. He says, But we ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, loved by the Lord, because from the beginning God chose you to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth. He called you to this through our gospel, that you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The simple fact that God, before the world began, knew exactly how he was going to connect us to the power of the gospel, so that the Holy Spirit could call, gather, enlighten, sanctify, and keep us strong in faith. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 4 and 5, says this, For God chose us in Christ before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. Oh, there is nothing greater than the power of the gospel and the work of the Holy Spirit as he sets us apart for God through the power of the gospel and word, baptism, and Lord's Supper is no accident. It's God who knew exactly how he was going to do that even before anything existed. That, my friends, is tremendous comfort. The fact that you are a child of God is not an accident. This is God's work. And now the Apostle Paul encourages these Christians who by grace through faith are part of God's family to remember that nothing now can separate them from their Lord unless they turn from his truth. Listen to what he says in verses 15 and 16. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the teachings we passed on to you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. The Apostle Paul reminds these Christians and you and me to stand firm, to stand firm in the truth of God's word. Earlier in this second chapter, he reminds these Christians that they are under attack. And we would be too possibly from something called a man of darkness or someone who the Apostle Paul, speaking on behalf of God, focuses on the fact that it could be someone who is an antichrist, someone who sets himself up in place of Jesus. No matter what, stand firm in the truth of God's word and led by God's word, let your hope shine both in your words and in your actions so that others may rejoice not in a man of lawlessness, a man of darkness, a man who's going to lead us away from the truth, away from Jesus, but find your hope in Christ so that others may see your deeds, hear your words, and rejoice in the truth of the gospel. Lord, thank you for calling us out of darkness into your wonderful light. Help us stand firm in the power of that gospel because it's not an accident. By grace through faith, we believe you called us out so that we could live our lives to your glory. Help us now stand firm in your truth, knowing that no one can lead us away as we stand in its truth that sets us free, which you gave us even before the world began. You had us in mind. The fact that we are your children is no accident. We praise you for this, Lord, and find great comfort in your truth that saves. Amen. Until next time.